Dropbox Beginners Tutorial How to use Dropbox for business Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Today we'll be taking a look at how you can get started with Dropbox business So let's get into it Now, what is Dropbox business and why is it more effective than just using Dropbox as your day-to-day -day, uh, file hosting platform? Well, Dropbox is a lot more than just a file hosting platform. It can allow you to manage your team, your business or your workflow in a simple and efficient manner. So you guys can see over here that Dropbox allows you a lot of other features rather than just being able to upload files. You also have team and content management settings. You can recover files for up to 180 days. You have e-signature requests as well and so much more. So let's get into the different plans of Dropbox business or the professional version of Dropbox as well as how you can get started. So if we take a look at the pricing, it starts if you bill it monthly, although if you do choose to bill it yearly, you do get a discount. But for the professional version, uh, it starts at $19.99. For the standard version, it's $18 per user per month. And for the advanced version, it's $30 per user per month. Now, in the standard version, which is the lowest priced version, you can choose to add DocuSend with, uh, you know, an additional fee. It costs around $83 per user per month if you also want to use DocuSend. And they have multiple different features. So the core features are the same. You get 5,000 gigabytes of storage. You can add upwards of three users on the uh, standard version, which is their basic version. You have best-in-class sync technology. You have anywhere, anytime access, as well as TLS encryption. You also have some other core features where you can have unlimited signing and three signature requests per month that you will get on the standard version. Now, in alternative to that, I do recommend uh, going on ahead if you want unlimited signing requests and unlimited signatures. If that is something that is very essential to the core elements of your business, you should definitely go with the professional e-sign version where you're going to subscribe to DocuSend as well as Dropbox. Now, moving on to some of the other features, you also have the backup 180-day file recovery as well as Dropbox Rewind where you get a 180-day history. You have the basic features that you have with the basic version of Dropbox, but as well as team management features like admin consoles, multi-team admin logins, API access, as well as 1 billion API calls per month for data transport. So to get started with Dropbox Business, just choose the plan that suits your team the best and you can click on buy now or just click on try for free over here. Now, once you do that, you're just going to start your free trial. So you have to enter your team name and after that, you have to choose the trial plan. You are going to agree and you are just going to click on start free trial. And just like that, we're going to begin our free trial on Dropbox Business. Now, the best part about using this is that not only can you use this as an internal business server, but you can actually use this as a platform that can help you in managing your uh, business with future clients or with potential clients as well. You can share documents and share invoices, all of that directly on Dropbox. So. From here, we're going to get started with setting up. Now, we have multiple different uh, categories. This is going to optimize your UI experience on Dropbox. So you're going to choose the category that applies the best to your business. So let's say we're doing product management over here. And I just want to continue on like this. Now, after that, you can start by downloading Dropbox if you want to uh, save the specific native application of Dropbox. You also have a Remind Me Later section where you can use Dropbox directly on your browser. That is totally up to you. Now, moving on ahead, this is going to be your basic dashboard on Dropbox. Now, taking a look at Dropbox over here, we have all our files on the left side of our screen. You can see this is going to be your navigation panel. And if you click on, on the top right side of your screen, you have a drop down menu. And in this, you have signing option, you have DocuSend, backup, capture, replay, transfer, paper, passwords, invoices, and your basic app center. 
So with Dropbox, okay, we have multiple different client projects. You can create multiple different files and you can click on the top right over here and you can show your deleted files as well. So you can browse those as well. Now let's close this panel from here and you guys will be able to see pinned items on the right side. So if you want to keep some items at the top of your list, if you have certain important files that need to be accessible at all times you can pin them to the top and then you can monitor your team's activity from this section now for a business purpose how are you supposed to use dropbox rather than just using it as a place to upload files well for that you can click on create over here and you have multiple different options so you have screen recording and this might be something you are like hey why would i need this in dropbox well this can allow you to uh set up multiple different uh, options to just uh, help your team in accessing multiple different files, knowing how and what to use on Dropbox. You also have automated folders. So automated folders are going to be uh, multiple different sections where you can uh, set a rule that can rename files. You can choose tags to organize files. Now, this can be especially helpful if you're uh, managing uh, certain tags with certain people. So let's say we are going to, let's say we have a uh, supplier called Aqua. So I would have Aqua as the folder name and I can use the tag Aqua and click on save. Now, whatever files are related to Aqua, all of my business partners or my, you know, all the people working in our business are going to tag them in Aqua. And even if those files are, are actually a part of our finances, a part of our team management, project management, whatever it might be, it, they are going to be also present while they are still going to be present in our finances section, they would also be present in the Aqua section. This will allow me to have a cohesive history of the entire business, of our entire dealing with that business for, uh, you know, whatever reason I might need it. So that is another great feature that I like to use with Dropbox Business, especially with multiple different people using it. It's, if you're just using it alone, it's fine for you to use Dropbox however you want. But these kinds of automations or categorizations can be especially helpful when you are working with a larger team. Now, going on to the next automated folder, you also have renames. Renames are especially helpful with having finalized versions of multiple different documents. You can unzip files. You also have uh, file formats that you can convert to specific formats. So let's say you have team members uploading in a specific dot file format. So let's say they are doing dot mov or they are converting, you know, they're uploading dot gifs and you want to convert them to jpeg or to mp4s. Then you can create this and you can rename this to so converted mp4 and then convert all the supported type of files to mp4 and then you can click on save and then all the files in this folder will be directly converted. Now these are features that you would actually pay on other different softwares to do while Dropbox allows you to do them over here for free. Now next up you have your signature section and on the left side you can see your signatures. Now you do get three free signatures with Dropbox uh, but if you do have more needs for e-signatures then you definitely do need to upgrade to a uh, platform like DocuSend. So if you want to create a sign just click on sign, click on self sign and then from here you can choose any uh, document that you want and choose to sign it as you wish. And then you also have file requests where you will be able to see all of the requests that you are sending, what are the expiry dates, were they created, who submitted that request as well. So in this way, you can optimize the functioning of your business. Plus, you also have multiple different integrations from the top left. You can click on these uh, little dots and then click on the app center over here. And you can integrate any app that you're using for the management of your business and have that work cohesively with Dropbox. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.